The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right, guys, let's get right into it. The extra time on the clock couldn't produce a knockout ending that Amanda Serrano craved. It didn't matter. As she got everything else she wanted out of the 36 minutes of ring time shared with the Nilo Ramos. The record setting seven division titles and reigning undisputed featherweight queen won every round in a 12 round decision over the visiting Brazilian in their featherweight championship clash. All three judges scored the bout 120 to 108 for Puerto Rico's The Serrano in their DAZN aired main event Friday evening at Caribe Royale in Orlando. Serrano defended her lineal WBA, IBF, and WBO featherweight crown with the win. The WBC title was not on the line as the Mexico City-based organization would not endorse women fighting three-minute rounds or the 12-round distance. Serrano, who has won titles at every weight from 115 pounds through 140 pounds, is normally known for her high-octane offense, not uncommon among women in the sport given the normal two-minute period to make your mark. The legendary Boricua was more deliberate in her approach on Friday and boxed more in the opening round. The jab was a key weapon for both boxers. Ramos, an interim WBO featherweight titleist from Argentina by way of Brazil, used her distance a wise strategy given the wide disparity in power between the two. Serrano and Ramos were both forced to deal with physical adversity through four rounds. Serrano had a slight nick on the bridge of her nose, but was unbothered by the wound. Ramos had more to deal with. Her left eye began to swell from Serrano's stiff jab and right hooks behind it. Ramos was in trouble for the first time in round four. Serrano stepped on the gas and let her offense flow. Everything was still set up by the jab, but Serrano was more persistent with her power shots. The damage began to show on Ramos' face and in her lack of return fire after she was going punch for punch with the defending champ prior to that point. The trend continued into the middle rounds. Ramos widened the gap between the two and began to use far more lateral movement in the absence of an offensive response. Serrano steadily increased her punch output, including more than 120 in the sixth round, as she had a response any time Ramos attempted to throw a punch. Ramos worked her inside and landed a right hand at close quarters in round seven. Serrano effectively cut off the ring and turned a boxing match into a fight to which Ramos re realized she had no choice but to bite down and fire back. Serrano continued to walk her down and land straight punches down the middle. Ramos went back on the move in round eight. Her goal by this point in the fight was simply to make Serrano miss. Serrano alternated by right jabs and lead right hands. Ramos tried to fight back and cornered, but was fighting through compromised vision as her left eye was nearly swollen shut by this point. Ramos went on a run as Serrano went on a hunt through round nine. Serrano intensified her body attack in round 10. Enough right hooks and straight lefts slowed down Ramos, who ran out of ring space as Serrano forced an inside fight. Ramos winced in pain as she absorbed a right hook to the midsection and was slow to make it back to her corner in between rounds. The start of the true championship round saw Serrano swarm as she had sensed the knockout was on the horizon. Ramos was in reaction mode as the few punches she landed did not have any impact. Serrano wound up landing 338 from a career high 1,103 punches, which is 30.6%, as she improved to 46 wins, two losses, one draw, 30 by way of knockout. The win was her sixth defense of her third and current featherweight title reign. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Amanda Serrano went 12 three-minute rounds with Danilo Ramos to get a unanimous decision win. Congratulations to Amanda Serrano. Always, always, always a spectacular performance and always a lot in attendance as she did sell out Carib Royale Motel and Casino in Orlando, Florida. Whole Orlando showed out. All of the Puerto Ricans were out. You know, it was a great show. Uh, what did you guys think about Amanda Serrano's performance and what do you think is next for Amanda Serrano? Sky Nicholson took to Twitter and said she would fight three minute rounds if the WBC sanctions it as she is the WBC interim champion. Nakisa's response to that in an interview was then she is not going to fight 
Amanda Serrano because Amanda Serrano is only doing three minute rounds moving forward. So what do you think this means, guys? Do you think that since Sky is the mandatory, if Amanda refuses to fight Sky, does that mean that she would have to vacate that WBC title? Uh, possibly, yeah. Or she might just fight the two minute rounds. Uh, guys, let us know in the comments below. What are your thoughts? All right, guys, well, you can find us on Instagram at Sportbox TV, official X, formerly known as Twitter at Sportbox TV. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate the love and support. Take care. Thank you.